This Kelloland Living segment is sponsored by Glacial Lakes Distillery, providing premium, handcrafted, small batch spirits. Mention a distillery and most of us think of backwoods brewers making moonshine that is both pretty potent and very illegal. Yet the crew at Glacial Lake Distillery in Watertown have built a distillery operation that is completely legal. And the better news is that while moonshine isn't on the menu, there are plenty of other spirit options for you to enjoy at their new tasting room in downtown Sioux Falls. Ashley recently stopped by to take us inside the operation. Quentin, thanks for having me down here. Absolutely. Tasting room of the Glacial Lakes Distillery. This is a brand new place downtown Sioux Falls. Your distillery you've been doing in Watertown for a while, but this is gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. What are we cheersing? So, what I have here is a hot toddy, and you have a hot cosmonaut. Hot cosmonaut. So it's a hot cosmonaut because it's got a Russian tea yes. with a little bit of tang in it. A little bit of tang, well, a little bit. The drinks that you guys come up with here are they're not only amazing and delicious, but they're also like insightful and funny and sometimes punny and intellectual. Yeah, we like to be pretty creative. Here. I like that. Let's cheers to this. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, I'll be sitting here the rest of the day. That's good. really good. <laughs> That's amazing. Right so let's talk a little bit about what you have here because it's the only distillery like it anywhere near here. Yes, correct. Uh, so we make everything in Watertown. That's where all of our production is. but. Uh, we decided to finally come to Sioux Falls with the tasting room. We need to expand and kind of, you know, uh, show everyone what we make and let everyone know that it's local. So this is our tasting room that we opened in August of this year. And what sets us apart um, from bars uh, versus the tasting rooms is that we make all of our own spirits. Um, all of our mixers, our cordials, everything are, are handcrafted as well. We actually make them right here on site. So you have these quality local ingredients. Mm -hmm that you're handcrafting yourself and you're doing in extremely small batches. Yes, very small batches, yep. It takes, takes quite a bit of time to, to you know, make a batch of, I don't know, 20 cases of vodka or whatever, whatever we do for the day. Now, I love coming down here in the summer, sitting outside on the porch, I mean the patio, and just getting to see all of down Sioux Falls, hustle and bustle, and I always have my favorite one is the, the gin and lemon and- Citrus lavender gin and tonic. Lavender gin yes. and tonic, yes. try that. Yes. But this is gonna be maybe my new favorite. I can't think of anything better than sitting here by the fire, cozy, That's right. having these warm drinks. You know what? I've got one better for you. Okay. How do you feel about uh, old fashions? I love old you fashions. You love old fashions? Well, right now we're having an old fashioned contest. So our, our new menu is coming up in a few weeks. So right now we're uh, featuring three old fashions on a flight that uh, you, can, you can buy for a certain dollar amount. And uh, once with your purchase, you do get an entry card and you can write your name on it, uh, your favorite pick of that flight and you enter into our box. And uh, in about two, three weeks, we'll pick a winner and that, that person will get a bottle of bourbon for us. Okay. First of all, I don't know where to start. Can I try the flight? You can try the flight. Okay. First. <laughs> that, secondly, that's where you start. <laughs> you can't even right now purchase your bourbon. You cannot. Because you can't make it fast enough. Unfortunately, no, we can't. Yeah, which is a good problem to have. Yeah. You know, we're okay with that, but uh, you do have to come to our site to try our bourbon. What are we drinking? I will let Rachel explain the. Uh, She's your director flights. of all She's things. She's the director of all things beverage. All so things yeah, beverage. she can explain it way better than I can. Okay, what are yeah. we drinking? So right now we're doing a flight contest. Um, we always try to do a new old fashioned with each menu, but we decided to get our guests involved. They're already like, you know, they're doing shooting ideas back and forth. Now they can actually vote on the one that will go on the winter menu. So we did an in-house chocolate hazelnut spread. You actually let the bourbon sit on that, then filter out the fat, but you still get all the aromatics. So we have a chocolate hazelnut old fashioned with a crushed pretzel on the rim. Here we have a smoked cherry mesquite old fashioned. We take a mesquite powder. Uh, I have a good friend, Chef Allen, and he smokes that powder for us. We mix it with a cherry compote, strain it out, and we do a cherry mesquite. And then we have the in-house pecan praline. We're making praline sauce, some pecan, a little bit of orange in there. Pull that out. So these are all the options. Ice on the side so we don't dilute the drink. Are you supposed to put ice in it or should I just drink it? I would 
put ice in put it. Ice in it. <laughs> However you prefer. You want room tip these. or you yeah. want it with ice? I mean, ice. you can do it neat. Uh, you might want to put a little bit of ice just to thin it out a bit. Should we cheers it? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to call it. I'm going to vote for that. You're already done? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste the rest of them, but I'm calling it right now. Cherry mesquite. Cherry mesquite. Mm -hmm. So when we say we do everything that we can in-house, it's straight down to the garnish. Um, you can't do, like Q said earlier, you can't do the cordials or the liqueurs. So for example, we're going to take our overproof vodka when you uh, like dumb it down, essentially, with some simple syrup and water and thyme. It'll pull that alcohol down. So you got to start with something a little higher. A lot of people would use like. Everclear, but we have our own distillery, so we can get as pretty high proof vodka as we want. And then after about two months of it sitting like that, you're gonna have this product, and that's how we'll do our limoncello, essentially. Pecan praline first, and then, okay. So that praline is gonna be like a brown sugar base. This is the one that you get if you don't think you like an old fashioned. Mm -hmm. If you think an old fashioned strong, you get this sweet up. I think I'm sticking with my vote, hazelnut. <laughs> Cherry mesquite was a very close second for me. Come and see for yourself, though. Don't let me judge. OK, so should we try? Can I try this limoncello, too? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's give that a try. We don't have that on the menu yet. That's something to look forward to for the winter menu. It's coming. It's this dangerously good. OK, so this isn't, I don't know. Like, I've had limoncello. Mm -hmm. This is so much better. Yeah. This is the whipped vanilla. Yep, whipped vanilla bean vodka. You're having fun with it. <laughs> what is happening? This is so good. Well, I mean, you can go to the store and buy something that's quality, or you can like make it with tender love and care, and that's what we get to do down here. I'm already blown away by everything you have, and good. I don't think I've even tasted half of it. No, not even close. Not even close. Okay. <laughs> but you can take more than half of it home. You can only uh, not take the bourbon home, but I've got. You can't take the mixed cocktails home. Okay. <laughs> I have to come here for you those. Have to come here for and those. And I will be. Good. <laughs> okay. So what do we have here? Well, in that hot cosmonaut, you had our wooden boat rum. So I got you a little bit of our white cap rum. This is what we would use in like a mojito, like summer weather. So this is the wooden boat rum before it's aged. Completely different flavors. Am I on a beach somewhere? I think so. It's, it's snowing outside, but we can all try to be there together. Then we have our brandy, which a lot of people they don't know too much about brandy. We try to incorporate it into about half of our cocktails. It's great for winter, great nice, warmer. We can make it sweeter. We can add like a little bit of a citrus to it. So that's our brandy, your favorite, the gin. Mm -hmm. And then the first ever spirit that Glacial Lakes did, the vodka, award-winning vodka right there. Um, you probably the first spirit most people try for us. So many amazing things. Mm -hmm. I hope that I can live here. You can, okay. yes, yes. We have a couch downstairs. You can sleep on anytime. Let's pick our favorite drink to cheers from. Absolutely. I'm going to do I'll this. This was so good. I'll grab good. a limoncello. OK, Brandy. wait. Cheers. 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 If you can't live here, you can take any of our bottles home, except for the bourbon. OK, I'm just going to stay here. Thank you so much. Yes. This has been amazing. This has been fun. Yeah, it's been a good time. The Glacial Lakes Distillery is located in Watertown at 1207 6th Avenue Northwest. Tours are available there. In Sioux Falls, you will find the tasting room at 200 South Main Avenue. Want to know more? Just call them at 605-212-8977 or go online to read their origin story at gldbrewhouse.com. And don't forget about the Old Fashioned Flight Contest at Glacial Lakes Distillery in Sioux Falls. Come taste the three unique old fashions they have created and vote for your favorite to make the menu.